horses are in the paddock and ready for the race. That's been seen to by veteran paddock judge Dave Freakman, who's been handling the Hamiltonian shore for years and years. Joe O'Brien, Scott Frost driver, reports for work, as does Billy Houghton, who will handle Gallifone. Here, Houghton exchanges a word with last year's Hamiltonian winner, Dell Cameron. Johnny Simpson, who will pilot Leopold Hanover, and Ralph Baldwin, Kobe Mice driver, contemplate the moments ahead. And Mrs. O'Brien drops by for a last-minute chat with her husband. The fans come to the edge of their seats now as the Hamiltonian horses prepare to enter the track. In a moment or two, they'll be off and trotting with the horse that wins, two heats, being declared the winner. The Saul Camp entry of Chapter California leads the way onto the track. That got brought with O'Brien. And home, Butch Hanover with Jack Richardson. Undefeated free with Clint Hodgins. Next is the Dell Miller entry up way ahead with Miller up. An Indian Raider with Jimmy Arthur. Here's Leopold Hanover with Johnny Simpson. Colby Mike with Ralph Baldwin. Childs Hanover with Frank Irvin. Galifone with Billy Houghton. Flemington with Dana Cameron. And our Villa Hanover with amateur rangeman Roger Brown, who bought her for $35,000 the other day, just so he'd have one to drive in the big race. The camp entry of Scott Frost, Butch Hanover, and Home Free is the red hot choice at three and a half to ten. California's second choice at almost five to one. Now the last minute score, and then. Carter C. Phillips calls them in behind his mobile starting gate, and the crowd anxiously awaits the start of the first heat. Child Hanover is off stride there in the background. As they come down to the starting point, Scott Frost is out in the center of the track, way ahead, and Leopold Hanover on the rail. It's Scott Frost that breaks out of that gate on top. Leopold Hanover's on the rail, way ahead between horses as they get away. And moving into the turn now, that's Scott Frost on the outside. He now challenges for and gets the lead. Leopold Hanover around that turn is second. And way ahead is third. Gallifone is moving on the outside now. Fourth around that turn. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. Colby Might, our Villa Hanover home free, and Childs Hanover off stride. The quarter in 29 and four fifths. On the lead on the rail, it's Scott Frost with Gallifone, the challenger on the outside now second. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is fourth. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. And Gallifone has that lead now with Scott Frost second. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is four. Scott Frost content to moving on the outside. Now he's going right on. It's Scott Frost taking back over the lead from Gallifone. Leopold Hanover is third. Way ahead is fourth. Butch Hanover is fifth. Indian Raider is sixth. Flemington is seventh. And Kobe Might is eighth. Arvilla Hanover ninth. Home free and child Hanover trail the field. The half was in 1-1. Scott Frost on that lead now, around the turn. Gallifone is second, and now that's Butch Hanover moving on the outside. Butch Hanover is nailed fifth on the outside. He's nailed fourth. Indian Raider also moving on the outside behind Butch Hanover. Butch Hanover is nailed third. Scott Frost has the lead. Here comes the stablemate. Butch Hanover up on the outside. Gallifone is third. It's Indian Raider fourth, and Indian Raider breaks stride as they come to the three-quarter mark. Leopold Hanover is saving ground on that rail. Flemington has moved up and is nailed fifth around the turn. Way ahead is six. The three-quarter time was 132 and three-fifths. It's now Butch Hanover showing in front by just a nose. Scott Frost has that lead again as he moves through. Gallifone goes to the extreme outside. And Leopold Hanover is saving ground and moving fast on the inside. It's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover is now making up ground. He's nailed second on the outside. He's going for that leader. It's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover. As they come for that wire, it's Scott Frost and Leopold Hanover. Gallifone on the outside third, and Butch Hanover is right to the wire. wire. As the drivers pull up, the margin of victory proves to have been a half a length, with Gallifone third and Butch Hanover fourth. That's the ninth straight heat win for Scott Frost this year. 
The time was a splendid 2 1 and 3 fifths for the mile distance. And Scott Frost pays 270 to win, 310 to place, and 220 to show. After a one hour respite, during which both the track and the horses are freshened up, they'll be back for the second heat. <laughs> 